guess what? The Adventureland restroom that had those pipes burst and that a beautiful water feature removed, well, it's finally getting fixed. A year after this actually happened, I believe in August of 2023 right here, well, we have an update. Let's, let's put some perspective on that now. To be fair. Please. Those of you out there, you're having a, uh, a reputation as a great party giver. You do backyard barbecues in the summer and you do Christmas parties in the winter and you're really great at it. Thing is, you're in your house, right? Which is a three bedroom, two bath uh, uh, in a very nice uh, tract, okay? Right? Mm -hmm. And the bathroom blows up. Right. Gonna wait a year to fix it and keep giving the parties? Where are they gonna pee? <laughs> That's true. I mean, it's just that simple. You don't, <clears throat> you don't say, well, the bathroom. Got home from work and, hi, honey, what's new? Well, the bathroom blew up. Oh, really? What'd you do? Well, I looked at it and I thought, it's probably fixable. We don't have to burn the house down to start over. Great. Did you call the plumber? No, he's busy for the next year. So you couldn't find another one? No, that costs too much. So where are our friends going to pee? Well, there's always the pool. Uh, it's. I mean, now, eh, forget I, theme parks. Just plain old basic human being common sense in the U.S. of A. in 2024. Do you do that? If you I, do, I'll tell you this. When your friends, because everything gets reviewed on, like, uh, what, Reddit or Yelp or something. When your right. friends write up your parties. Well, the Johnsons used to do great parties. But as much as it's fun to just drop your pants and pee in the pool, it's kind of a drag after a year. <laughs> well, I'm going to give them a three points out of five. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even well, even back in the day, too, right? So... so so back in the day, they had a plumber strike when they were installing the original restrooms and fountains for Disneyland back in 1954-55, leading up to the opening that would take place July 17th. Uh, so Walt had a decision to make because that plumber strike obviously would affect the work output. Said, hey, look, listen, do you want uh, drinking fountains or do you want to, you know, toilets? And he was like, well, um, people can drink Coke and Pepsi, but they can't, they can't necessarily uh, urinate in the streets. So obviously chose the toilets as well. But again, that was with limited resources, limited time, all going, uh, you know, leading up to the opening of this park. people not as well versed in the history of the construction of the park as we are know that there was a big concrete strike during the construction of Disneyland. That's true. They were, they were paying basically black market truck drivers to bring in concrete in the dead of night to build this place. Right. And, 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 and what did you all do when you couldn't get toilet paper during the, the pandemic? <laughs> yes. You yes. found somebody but, who had it, right? You sure. solved the problem. You had a need that was not, uh, let's put it this way. When they called it the Adventureland guest rooms, they didn't mean finding a place to pee should be an adventure. <laughs> I I agree with that sentiment wholeheartedly. And again, this is a company that does billions and billions of dollars a year in annual revenue. You would because, think because, if they would just because, earmark. A little bit of that. It's still the, uh, what was that? I think it was the Marines recruiting slogan. It's mm -hmm. not just a job, it's an adventure to find a place to be in Adventureland. Um, I, I guess. I guess that's where we're, where we're at right here. Again, you would think, here, Mark, a little bit of that for the second most attended theme park in the world. I can't uh, overstate that. We finally have an updated building permit for the Adventureland restrooms at Disneyland. It looks like a new custodial room will be constructed with a rock wall and water feature. Nice. Uh, DLR Adventureland Guest Restrooms. This is the permanent entry right here, building 2208 non-residential edition, 35 square feet custodial room with a 12 inch foot or 12 foot, I believe, eight yeah. foot uh, tall equipment enclosure with 27 foot square foot color cover. You get the idea there. Um, but I put this out immediately after I said, look, I'm glad that this permit has finally been filed, but it didn't really take over a year to get this permit filed. Why was this considered acceptable? Uh, Disneyland was the most second attended theme park in the world in 2023. It now demands over $200 a day just to enter on some days. Why isn't the standard higher? And again, you can kind of uh, broaden this out as well. It's not just Adventureland restrooms that have been experiencing some technical issues. Also, too, this is the current state of the lights that are at uh, Epcot in the what was previously the Future oh, World section, now God. World Celebration. The state of World Celebration lights is embarrassing. The floor is reduced to dots and four to eight columns are not in sync with the show on Spaceship Earth. 
why is this this way? <laughs> this just recently opened. It only worked for like a week and then it had experience, it experienced well, these issues. You know the expression, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Yep. If you don't think they could make these things, whether it's a restroom or a light, work after spending how many years now with the, uh, as somebody said, pushing dirt around in the middle of Epcot, um, if they wanted to, if they really, really wanted to, if somebody even had to go all the way to the top, and the big Bob said, I want the lights fixed, I want it done in the next two weeks, and I want it done and so it keeps being fixed after you walk away. It could happen. It had to happen. It would it would absolutely have to have been right if anybody at the top cared enough yes. to make it a priority. To make what used to be standard operating procedure, not something with a bonus price or a special new feature, just basic get it done, a priority. The fact that they don't is not a matter of them being incompetent to do it. It's not a matter of, gee, all new things have problems. It's a matter of intent not being there. Correct. Why not? And if that intent results in being the first or second or whatever most visited place in the past and soon doesn't, you'll know why. This is a company that used to build mountains uh the when walt disney world was being constructed back uh in the late 1960s in order to make seven seas lagoon which is a man-made lake essentially in order to make magic kingdom and the uh, three resorts around there uh what is it fort wilderness contemporary and the polynesian that was all the largest private construction uh project that ever had been attempted by any private corporation that was about a 400 million dollar project back in 1971 when it would would eventually open on october 1st uh, like that was the level of ambition there and then they would uh up the stakes even further with the opening of and Pepcon. by the way Man. it Basically. wasn't just ambition it was right. confidence based on experience true anybody can say well we're going to build a mountain where nobody's ever done it before and then we never hear from them again but right. these guys, these were the pros from Dover. These were the, you know, anybody else. Well, you don't have to, you don't have to take my word for it. I will never forget. I can't tell you what year it was because I don't remember mm. going mm. to the, uh, the Six Flags Park in um, Norfolk, Virginia. And right. um, um, they had a, a big water flume ride with a big mountain. And only it was themed to pirates. And I thought, well, and I get up close, and the boats are, you could buy them in front of, uh, uh, what you call it? Um, uh, why can't it? Bass Pro Shop. They were mm -hmm. aluminum dinghies of the kind that are stamped out by the millions. That's something special or themed. I took the ride. Inside, it was literally department store mannequins dressed up in bad pirate suits and a soundtrack that was going, yo, 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 over and over and over again. And then you came out the top of the flume and this was a very rainy day. And I was sitting in the second row and there was a guy sitting in front of me. Or no, pardon me, the other way around. I was in the bow and he was behind me. And I hmm. saw that we were going to go down that big hill and hit at the bottom in this, you could tap on it with your fingers and it would sound like a, a Caribbean drum uh, orchestra, these cheap al aluminum boats. Mm -hmm. And I opened my umbrella and hid behind it because I thought that bow wave is going to come right. And it did. It came right over the bow. It came right over me and dumped all that water on the guy sitting behind me. And I said, sorry, but I wasn't going to get wet that way. <laughs> and <clears throat> these are people, especially with that bad pirate sound effect, Sure. They're trying to emulate and failing. And they're big companies with big money invested in Disney. Everybody mm -hmm. was wanted to be like Disney, right? In right. other words, D Disney was not a great professional ball player. Disney was Michael Jordan. Disney was not a great heavyweight boxer. Disney was Muhammad Ali. Yes. And the reason why, if you watch the movie Rocky, people with less resources can succeed is because they just have the will and the intent 
and the dedication to keep like in prose opening with that sequence from the Rocky movie about you have to keep getting hit and keep getting back up. Well, when you've been hit as many times as they have in the force of creating all this stuff originally, you don't get hit anymore. You're not supposed to unless you're punching yourself in the nose every single time. That's true. And you can't lose your reputation and then recover it like that. It's hard built and it's worth protecting. And the people in charge right now don't think so. It's uh, it's it's so true, uh, whether it's the Adventureland restrooms, fountains, lights, all that. Uh, Braden, I think. Puts and it notice there, we're not uh, talking about Tiano, a, a big, expensive, many years uh, project for a major attraction that doesn't work. We're talking mm-hmm. about stuff you walk on and stuff that lights your way so you don't trip and fall. Right. We're, we're talking about a place you go to pee. In a year, man, that gives a whole new hold on uh, motivation to the term "hold it." <laughs> it's so true. I, I, I would be. It would, I'm sure you couldn't really do this, but it would sure be hilarious to mm-hmm. illustrate this story if we had a montage of walking people walking around the parks with their legs crossed, looking anxious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, for a year. I, for a year. Yeah, right, and and it's not to say that those restrooms were completely. Um, uh, speaking they, they, as someone partially functioned, has, but they has, didn't function has, well, from what I understand. Speaking as somebody who had literally, that was always my, we've been driving on the freeway. We got to the park. We got in the front gate. The ones right at the front gate are too busy. That was my first pee stop of the day for decades. Decades. And they couldn't fix it in a year? It's so bad. It's, it's Anyway. It's so bad. Again, $32.6 uh, uh, billion dollars uh, in Parks uh, Experience uh, revenue last year. Couldn't you know, fix any of this, these issues. The thing about those floors with the lights at Epcot mm-hmm. came out, and I put up a picture I found in a, in, a, in a tour of a boat at the Dusseldorf Boat Show that an English company had those kind of lights in the decks of their ocean-going yacht and made them work. Not salt, you know, salt water safe. Which sure. Is much more corrosive than anything that goes on the ground at Epcot even if it's a guest who can't find a working restroom. Um, But uh, this is just all I'm trying to stress, and I'm going to stop now because I'm tired of doing it. This is not accident. This is not a failure of technology or person. This is not, we couldn't have made it work right the first time in the case of Tiana. It's the willpower was not there to make it work right in the first time. And from that willpower and that intent, and that management that has that willpower for putting politics into their cartoons for children. We all Indeed. have choices. We all have choices to make, whether we're yep. you and me or the CEO of a major international corporation. And what choices you make matter. And what the results are matters. And basically, if your attitude is on this kind of thing, eh, big deal. Disney's Disney. Everybody will come here anyway. Why should we worry? That shows a basic, elemental, bottom line, contempt for your customers. People who show contempt for their customers get less customers, period. That's not about whether you've got a mouse as a logo, and that's not about what your brand name is, and that's not about some outside factor of society or politics or anything else. That's just a reality. People don't like to spend money with you, let alone enormous spends of money when you're treating them with such utter contempt. Anyway, That's it exactly. Couldn't have said it better. And the speech from Speechifying Lou. But uh, <laughs> that's just, that's the way I see it. You got another opinion? We'd love to hear from you, really, seriously. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, we'll provide your uh, opinions in the comments because uh, I, I don't think uh, Lou is wrong here. I think he's hitting it right on the head. That was a highlight from our live stream on That Park Place Podcast online, where the full stream can be found at the link in the description. But what about you? What do you think about this very intriguing and fascinating story? Please let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you did like this video. Share us out as it helps us out tremendously against the YouTube algorithm. And thank you so much for watching. T3, B.O. Please comment, like, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to That Park Place Podcasts online. Your source for exclusive content and highlights from WDW Pro, The Pro Show, and That Park Place for all the news that should be fun.